Shalom, shalom. Today we are greeting you from Natifuma, and this is the school behind us that is called uh, Natifuma Victoria's Christian High School from Vision for Africa. And we are very, very thankful for the Lord that he led us. Four years ago, he told us to bring all the students that we have in the primary schools all over Uganda, to bring them back together into one school. So, yeah, it's a long story, but we had already this property, but we never thought it would be big enough. So we were looking around, but you know, God's ways are higher than our ways. He then showed us this is the place where he wants to build this Vision for Africa High School. And so we started. And you know, in the whole country, we have about 3,500 children in primary schools. And we wanted them to come together and to get a good foundation for their lives. And here in the back, you see a few of the future leaders of Africa, if not of the whole world. Because here, their children are being trained to become the dream that God has for them. And God is dreaming very big dreams with the Africans, you know. So far, Africa has been the last of the continents. And the last shall be the first. And this is now the time for Africa to rise up through the wonderful people of Africa. Who wants to be a leader of Africa? I'm Hallelujah, <laughs> I'm in the right crowd. And many of them will even be beyond Africa because God has chosen Africa to show the rest of the world how to live as a kingdom citizen. Amen. Amen. And here next to me is Madame Edith, the director of this school. And she has really the heart of a mother, but she also has <laughs> leadership <laughs> guts, okay? She, has, she knows she is here responsible that everything runs well and that these children have security. These children have a strong foundation of faith. These children have good academic teachers. We choose our teachers very well according to their character and according to their faith. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because we know a teacher multiplies himself much more through his character than through his teachings. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, I want to tell you, this school, we are still in the, in, not yet finished, you know. So far we have about how many students here registered? 750. 750 are right now here, but we are getting how many more in August? 300. About 300 more. And when the school is finished, is complete, we will have between 3,400, 3,500 students, male and female. And uh, our main goal is to give them a solid foundation in their faith in God, knowing how much they are loved, no matter how their past has been, no matter how poor their beginning has been. You know, none of them was born in a stable. Was anybody of you born in a stable? Like Jesus? No, no. Yeah, he was poorer than you are. <laughs> Jesus was poorer than any of us because none of us were born in a stable. None of us had to flee to Egypt as a refugee to survive a very jealous king of those days in Israel. I tell you, not the beginning counts, but the end. Amen. And we are raising here children that know my God put me on earth with his dream for this earth. And that's what we want to release in those children, the dream that God has for them. Not that we have. God's dream are, dreams are much higher than our dreams, you know? If anybody had God ever told me that he wants to build with, with me what he does in Uganda, ah, I would have fled to Australia into the deepest bush. I would have said, no, no, you can't do that with me. But you know, God is strong in the weak. And he does not call it the gifted. He, he brings gifts to the called. Amen? Amen. He gives everything we need. And so, dear ones, uh, we will also show you the different departments we have here. These are all students in boarding. They sleep with us. They eat here. We also build a clinic now that medically they are taken care of. These children have a, a variety of sports. We have, we have tennis courts, uh, basketball courts, tennis courts. We will build a huge swimming pool. We will have a running court. So because we want to train those children in what God has put inside of them. We want to release them to become the dream of God. Amen, Amen. Mama? Amen. Yeah, we'll give all the glory to God. Amen. Amina. <laughs>
but we Amen. keep the joy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So from the, here now, you know, we have here now the school blocks that you see in the back. And in a few days, we will start another school block, one store, story higher. And uh, we have the best computer labs. We have the best chemistry, Gym. biology, physics, physics laboratories. And, uh, and we are very, very thankful for all the sponsors that stand behind us from Europe. There's not a single coin of government money in here. Although we appreciate our government. We are so thankful that they allow us to do what we are doing and they give us their blessing. Amen. Amen. And they are happy that we are helping to carry the load of this nation, to bring forth the future leaders of Africa and maybe also many parts of the world. So we will show you now more places. We also have already dormitories. One dormitory for 1,600 children is already ready. The other one is being built for the girls. We, are, we build a community hall for 4,000 people because when all the children and the staff are together, we will be 4,000 people. We will show you our kitchen facility, the big dining that we are building right now. We have big, big uh, living quarters for, for our staff. Uh, yeah. So. It is a miracle from beginning to end, and please don't say I created that. No, I only do every day what God tells me, and the outcome is a shock to me. And I have, uh, listen, I am crying sometimes and say, Lord, do I have anything to do with that? You know, God is strong in the weak. And believe me, everyone that is watching here, God has greater plans for your life than you ever can imagine. Trust God, surrender your life 100% to Him and say, Lord, you can do with me what you want, where you want, how you want. You can also reduce me to zero. And that's the point. God can only work in those that are 100% His. But glorify your name. Make me a blessing to man, to, to, to the people around me and give me joy the world cannot take and cannot give. Let's check the future, it leads to one path.